Ja, oh. Well, good afternoon, everyone. First, I'd like to introduce us. This is my colleague presenter, Glenn van Zutve. And I am Ruud Blom. Well, this is us, 20 years ago. When we were born, we were lucky, because we were healthy. When we cried, our parents cuddled us and eased us. And if we couldn't sleep, they simply sang sleeping songs. But not every newborn child is lucky. 10% of all the babies around the world are born premature. And these babies are born 3 to 14 weeks earlier than normal. Each minute, 252 babies are born. 25 of these babies are born premature. Not one, not two, not three, but 25, each minute. During this talk of seven minutes, 175 babies are born premature. So you can ask yourself the question, how many children is that in a year? So let's imagine you are born premature. Instead of laying in a nice and warm and cozy warm, you are suddenly placed inside an incubator. And this incubator offers a controlled environment where you, the baby, can be observed and nursed. And this controlled environment is necessary because your organs are not fully developed yet. This incubator is, however, also a source of stress. You can forget the soft lights and the lullabies. When you lay in the incubator, you see a lot of bright lights and you hear a lot of noises. And these are stress factors that are not present in your mother's womb. And these stress factors caused by the incubator can disturb the developing process of you, the baby. And this can result in problems on la later age. Common problems are behavioral problems, learning problems, problems, cognitive problems, and attention issues. Several studies show that scent relieves a baby from pain and stress. These studies show that babies cry less during the separation of their parents due to the smell of mother milk and also due to the smell of vanilla. So we can conclude that these scents result in a happy baby. <laughs> <laughs> so our goal is to develop a device that can reassure children through smell. We want to make these premature born babies happier through a better health and make them feel better while lying in an incubator. So what does our design look like? As you can see, we want to capture scent in a device. And as you might not might know, the sense of smell is the earliest developed sense of humans. This is also the case with puppies. Puppies are born blind and deaf, and in the early days of life, they use the sense of smell to guide them to their mother's nipples. So um, the two scents, the vanilla and the mother milk, can be brought to the child. But babies don't want vanilla. They want their own mother. But how do we capture that smell? These pads will be placed in the bra of the mother where they absorb the smell of the mother milk. But now that we have the smell of the mother milk in the pad, how do we transfer it to the baby? Therefore, we have to tackle one problem, and that's the saturation of our nose. Over here, I have the favorite perfume of my girlfriend. And when I spray it on the pad, I smell it, I think of her, and it makes me happy, because I like her, it's easy. <laughs> but when I smell it again, the second time, the feeling is not so strong anymore, and that's due to the saturation of my nose. So our device will provide for a continuous happy feeling of these babies. But beside this main feature, we also have to keep a few things in mind while designing, because the device has to be safe, ergonomic in use, and it also has to meet the high hygienic standards of the hospital. So we came up with this first prototype. The pads, as I showed you, will be placed in the container and will be guided through the container and transferred to the baby. Students of the psychological department of the Technical University Eindhoven are preparing the first field test with this prototype. This is our second prototype. It's based on the same ID, though the software behind it is more complex and the design is more refined. You simply take the pad, put it in a device, you turn it on, you smell your girlfriend again. <laughs> what a great device. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So at the start of this project, me and my project team went to the neonatal intensive care unit of the Maxima Medical Center. And when I was there, and when I saw all these babies lying in these incubators, when I saw how vulnerable these babies were, it became clear to me. I chose to help them, as well as my teammates. We are students of Fontes Engineering, and in collaboration with the Technical University of Eindhoven and the Maxima Medical Center, we are going to help these babies. So let's go back imagining you are the baby. You're laying in the incubator, and there's this huge barrier between you and your parents. By using the incubator, it is much easier for your parents to calm you when you are restless. They simply guide the scent of mother milk to you when you are crying or tossing and turning. In this way, your developing process will not be disturbed, and common problems that appear on later age will occur less. In the beginning, I asked the question, how many children per year are born premature? Well, I, I actually already said it. It comes down to 13.5 million children per year. Our innovation will contribute for a smooth start of life for these children and for hundreds of millions of babies in the future. So, see how lucky we were. And be honest, doesn't everyone deserve a smooth start of life and end up talking here? 